Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keep It Fish Simple. So, in today's video, we have just, I've just gotten a message. I've got a huge wholesale order arriving at home. So I gotta go pick it up, and then we gotta take it to the fish room, we're gonna unbox it. I've got a ton of angelfish, I've got some cool guppies, and I also got like a ton of books, because you guys were crazy. I talked about it on my live stream. There's this awesome book that I've been reading lately. It's called Breeding Ornamental Fish and I just got it and I was reading it and I was like this is amazing so I actually stocked it on my website and I only had like three available and you guys bought a ridiculous amount so I called the wholesaler and we got a ton more in so basically yeah we're gonna go and unbox some stuff so yeah it's a miserable day but we'll see how we go so we've got I think these are two boxes of books and then this is a box of fish but it feels like it's got books in it it's really heavy <laughs> So, all the books here, here's the book. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, I'll just show you. So if you have a look on the inside, here's just like the pages of contents. There's just so, so much information in this book, it's ridiculous. So I'll just take these up, but then we'll head to the fish room. First box, well, only box, hopefully there's more boxes in the future unboxings, but. That. All right, so first bag. These are, wow. What are these ones? 20 Panda Angelfish. Look at these. They're actually quite big. Yeah, they're awesome. So all of these fish will be available soon. I'm gonna keep a few for myself because they look so good. But uh, yeah, so we'll put them, I guess, and go in this tank. So what I'm doing with these fish is I'm growing them all out so that they can like naturally pair off and then I'm just gonna keep like one or two pairs like you can see in these tanks we've got a lot of like these are all my koi angels these are my breeding pairs so I like don't want to just have koi's I want to have like a bunch of different stuff so I'm gonna sell a few of those keep the best breeders and then have some of these guys so put these up up here to acclimate so awesome all right second bag these are awesome these are blue sapphire angelfish so I've got 20 of these as well. So I've got 20 of all these angelfish. How's the color of that? They're, they're all washed out obviously, but they're gonna color up real nice. So they can go up in here. Put these up here. I'll go around after as well and show you guys all the fish when they color up a bit better. 20 of them. Super stoked to actually get those. Not, I haven't seen many of them around, so. I'm guessing in this little bag will be some endlers. What are these? Oh, yeah, just some tiger endlers here. So I haven't had tiger endlers for about a year and a half. So just got myself some of these as I was going to use them as dealers for some of my pleco tanks, and I was also going to sell them. So I think we'll put them. Where we got? We'll put them in here for now. And toy around with them later. We got <laughs> one ornamental fish farming book. <laughs> Put this at the front door. These look, oh, yes. Th these I reckon I would jump on if I was you guys, but these are the panda, blue panda pairs. These are guppies, so I haven't had guppies for, jeez, I don't know, maybe nearly a year and a half. These are my first guppies back. I saw these on the list. They are phenomenal, can I have a look? The, the males have this, uh, like, I don't know, they've got the Dumbo ears, they've got really good colours, the females have big long veil tails, which makes them really cool. So I'm going to keep maybe a trio. No, I'll keep a pair and then I'm going to sell the other ones, but I don't think these will be around for too long because they look really, really good. So put these a tank for them. Here we've got Platinum Angels. Jeez, I ordered a lot of stuff. There's 20 Platinum Angels. These are great too. You see them? Awesome. Great, so, kind of gonna run out of tanks. Jeez, right, put these over the other side. Come around to my messy room. <laughs> I can go up in this tank. Oh. Three more bags. One of these, leopard angelfish. Look at those. I reckon they're gonna be Stunning when they get bigger. I've never actually seen the leopards before, so 
Jeez. A lot of angel fish. There's 20 of each. And then, second last bag. Oh yeah, I remember ordering these. So these are just some Bosmanis. These are for myself. So I've got a sick school of six in here, and I'm just adding these for a bit of genetic diversity because I don't want like too much inbreeding. So we're gonna season with them because I want to make a lot of Bosmanis because they look cool. Or some rainbow fish as well. I love how the fish room makes all these noises when I start adding stuff like all this water running around. And last bag, lucky, lucky last. These are, what are they called? These are black veil tails, koi veil tails, no. Dark marble veil tails, that's what they are. So these are 20 of them as well, if you wanna have a look at those. Can you see them? They haven't got as much veil, but that's just because they're so young. But when they get older, they're gonna look fantastic. So, so that's pretty much gonna be it for now. Um, I'm gonna put them all in their tanks then we're going to acclimate them. Like, well, like, they're all acclimating now. Then we're going to put them in their tanks. And I'll come back in the Arvo when they've got a little bit more colour and I'll show you guys all the fish. Alright, so it's now the day after we've gotten in all the fish. And I'm going to quickly show you around and show you the fish that we've gotten in. So, we'll start over on the guppies. So we've got our tiger endless here. And these guys are beautiful. We've got, I think, three pairs of these guys. They're not too expensive. They're a very, very good looking fish. But you can see the males have some outstanding colours on them and the females are really decently sized. There's no skinny ones and that's always a good sign. These guys have been eating very, very well now. There's a ton of snails in this aquarium with them. So that indicates to me that there's plenty of hardness in the water for these guys to uh, be happy and healthy in here. So I'm gonna try and maybe breed these once or twice and then probably gonna sell the rest of these pairs just because I don't need a ton of tiger endless, but I just picked them up because they look so cool. Now in here, you're not gonna be able to pick these guys up, but these are my Bosmani rainbow fish, which need a little bit more growing up to do before they start breeding in that spawning mop behind you, but they've settled in really, really well. I've got six of these guys, and well, I had six of these guys, and now I've added another six. So I've got a big school of 12, and hopefully that's gonna produce a lot of fry. Um, there's some in here that look just amazing already. So these look super, super good, these Bosmani rainbow fish. Now you guys are not going to believe me, but in here we've got our blue panda guppies. We've got, I think, four pairs of these guys. And if you look around, they've already had fry. So I think I just was looking in here this morning and there was some females already dropped some little fry. So yeah, if you look up in here, you'll see there's a fry there. It's actually fry throughout. So these guys already doing really, really well. You can see the males look phenomenal. And the females as well have some awesome fins on them, which is really, really cool. I haven't seen guppies that look as good as this in Australia for a very long time, not in my fish room. Not at my local fish store and stuff like that, but the females have beautiful long fins and they're already dropping, so these guys are ready to go. All of these fish will be available for purchase down below, uh, but they won't be shipped out until after Christmas because there's just so much shipping going on right now and it's a little bit crazy and unpredictable. So after Christmas, they'll all be shipped out, but you can go and pre-purchase these guys on the website down below. Up here we've got our panda angelfish. These guys look great. I mean, if you look at my hand, they're pretty small, but they've got a little bit of growing up to do. And if you buy them now, they're gonna be in here for another month. So they've got a lot of growing up to do, but look very, very good. Uh, they've been eating tons of flake already and we haven't had any losses with these guys. So I'm gonna be keeping a few to breed myself, but these will be available as well. now. Don't feel like you have to buy any of these fish. You guys just watching these videos is super, super helpful and plenty for me. So I've just got these up there because I wanted these fish anyways and I thought I might as well buy some extras in case you wanted them as well. So I just got these for myself and you know, just added a couple extra to the cart for you guys to pick up. So don't feel like you have to buy anything at all. And I'm super excited to be breeding these in the future. These are the Sapphire Blue Angelfish. These guys look amazing already eating very, very well. There's 20 of these guys, no losses with them yet. And I don't think there will be any losses. There's one in here that kind of looks a little bit like a discus. Um, but besides from that, they look amazing. They're gonna color up really, really well as they get older. That's a good looker there. Some of them have some of those stunted fins, but I think that's just from being grown in an aquarium that's too small, but some beautiful male, big boys there. And yeah, these guys look really good too. And down here we've got some shy guys. These are the black marble or dark marble veil tails. They've already got that veil tail going on, but they're a little bit shy. Haven't had any losses. These guys have been eating very well, but I, they're just really, really skittish. And I reckon it's maybe because they're in this bottom aquarium. So 
they look good. Um, they're a little bit small, but they've got they're going to grow up a little bit while they're in my hands before they go in any of you guys. So yeah, the black veil tail marble angelfish. And then up here we've got our platinum angelfish. These guys look really really good, especially under this low light in a big planted tank. These guys will look great. I think they've come in. There's no stunted ones. I don't think so. Super happy with that. Haven't had any losses with these guys, and they're a little bit bigger than some of the other ones that have come in. So fantastic looking fish. And then lastly, we've got our leopard angels. Now I only had one loss with these guys and it was the only loss in the whole shipment. They look fantastic. I've never seen these guys in person. So super excited to get my hands on these guys. Um, some little ones. These guys came in a little bit small, but they'll do some growing up. And there's a few in here with some stunted fins. So just keep that in mind, but you can see there. Doesn't mean they're not healthy, they've been eating really well. They're super active, none of them are skittish or shy. I've got a loner over in the corner over here, but I will be breeding these very, very soon, the second they grow up and start to pair off. So that's gonna be it. There's all the fish. Here's the fish room, looking very messy. Lots and lots of angelfish and fish just in general in here. And uh, I'll be doing an update on the whole fish room very soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.